been listening to Katie's Kicks on 95.1 The Source. Song requests. If you have any song, I will play it. Hollywood Undead, Bowling for Soup, The Diary of Jane by... Hey Globe Pals, you're listening to The Breakfast Blend with Katie at 91.1 The Globe, your home. If you want to guess my Halloween costume, you can. Call in 574-535-7488. You can tune in at globeradio.org. Hey Globe Pals, on your FM dial, this is 91.1 The Globe, your home for Maple Leaf Athletics. 7.20 in the morning, it's time again for the College Radio Cut. This Friday's a uh, feature of the College Radio Cut. It's going to be Friday, I'm in Love by The Cure. Very fitting, I know. Come again for the College Radio Cut on 91.1 The Globe. For this morning, as promised, I got some Red Red Wine for you by UB40, which was originally performed by Neil Diamond. For anyone who's out storming Area 51 right now looking for their alien, this song is for you. Today's College Radio Cut is Aliens Exist by Blink-182. For this morning's College Radio Cut, throwing it back to 1981 when REO Speedwagon released their fifth track on their album High Infidelity, Take It On The Run, which I feel like we're all kind of doing right now with this coronavirus. For this morning's College Radio Cut, I figured the most fitting song would be Ghost Town by The Specials, which is from a British two-tone band, uh, released June of 1981. Kind of feels like a ghost town everywhere you go uh, recently because of the coronavirus. Ghost Town by The Specials makes me think of how everyone is closing everything down because of this virus. So if we can't do anything else, we can at least jam out to the college radio cut on 91.1 The Globe. That was Hell Yeah by Montgomery Gentry on 96.7 The Eagle. My name's Katie and bad bods are in according to um, any lady you looking for the man of their dream. But Joe, you don't know what a dad bod is. I've never heard is. this before, dad bod. What is a dad bod? I'm live at Big Ford Lincoln of LaPorte right now with Dennis Siddell for 96.7 The Eagle. It is Food Friday. Today we're doing salsa testing. The salsa festival is tomorrow starting at the Goshen Farmer's Market. Eighty. Were barista where and form the Globe House? Uh, I was a Starbucks barista. Uh, on again, off again. That's what we're trying for Food Friday. Uh, pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks, but also Dunkin'. We're gonna get to the bottom of who has the best pumpkin spice latte. Uh, it's ooh. not oyster though. Okay, okay. It's not good, oysters. I do not like oysters. Oysters, Speak. like, yeah, that's like the one thing. I couldn't figure out how to make the oysters come out of their shell, so I was like, no, I need to stop because, you know, like, I'm more of a microwavable chef. So you bought oysters? I was like, okay, what's something close to oysters? And I thought, mussels are kind of. <laughs> I'm not sure I've had a muscle before. Me, I, I don't. Eaten. Two, one. Today's best music, U93. It's Katie. So, did you hear that the National Spelling Bee has been canceled for the first time since World War II? If the Spelling Bee can't be held in person, having a spelling bee of my own tonight called U93's Spelling Bee Safe, where all the words that I'm going to give you to spell have been seen in the news a lot lately. So it should be because pretty the skinny easy. jeans were so snug that I couldn't fit them on my sausage legs after getting out of the pool. Have you had a clothing mishap? I have. I was at work. And uh, I was wearing, you know, this nice, loose, khaki, good fitting. My pants stuck on a shelf at work and I pulled too hard and it ripped my pants all the way down the side. No! And so I had to walk out of the store and go get new pants. That's music U93. It's Red Nose Day and if I sound a little nasally, it's because I do have a red nose actually on my nose right now. Alright, this is trending on Facebook. If 2020, the year, was a zodiac sign, what would it be? My Facebook feed is full of people accusing 2020 as being a Gemini. I take offense. I think Geminis are cool, right? And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Gemini. Well, maybe it's quarantine. I've been doing it a lot. But last night when I was scrolling through my Facebook news feed, I caught a video of one of my Facebook friends eating her spaghetti doused in sugar. Mary and Brandon, how do you eat your spaghetti? Well, I do put sugar on my spaghetti also. A lot of sugar or just like a little bit? Probably a few tablespoons per. Wow. Okay, so if two people are doing this, maybe I gotta give it a try. All right, here's the game. It's karaoke, which is basically karaoke, but with me. <laughs> if you can sing the next line of this Drake song, you win. Okay. Late night when you need my love. And I don't know what the hell I'm playing. <laughs> I can only mean one thing. 
You got it. You got it. You're I right. literally looked at them this morning and I screamed and I stuffed them back into the bag. So you know what? I'm gonna wad up this bag here. Where did you get them from? My mother. Oh. Here, they? I'll let you look at them first. Here we go. It's so <laughs> gross. There's one that's like the size of my pinky. <laughs> one, two, three, <laughs> go. Oh, that's really crunchy. What are we eating? Yes, the food. Something that William oh, requested. It's in there. To... Zach can grab it and try to decide right, what it is. Is there enough for it's everyone? Just, yes, there's. Just, we'll just take grab one. It. No, don't. You're not grab the top thing. thing. <laughs> All right. What do you think it is, Zach? Hold it up to the fellow globe crew. Wait, it's from Evolve Evolution. Yeah, yeah it's from Evolution. It's like it's some sort of chocolate. 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 Some type of chocolate. Chocolate covered Rick crickets cricket. is right. No yeah, this, is, this is playing company. All right, heading down to Lafayette Square. Rob Banks, Katie Day are there. What, what's going on this morning, man? I, I, I'm a little nervous for this. I have to be honest with you. Well, we've been talking about it all week, and it's finally coming true here. Katie's first first Buffalo Bills. We have a table set out here. We got an eight-foot ladder, and Katie's ready to get on top there and uh, make the leap of faith. I'm so ready. How she's doing this. She wants to practice. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Three. Two, one, Katie Day, Bill's Mafia jumping through. Oh, shoot. Bill's <laughs> Mafia, second time's a charm. Yes. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Shakespearean Garth Brooks lyrics. <laughs> All right, so this is how it works, Shauna. Uh, Katie, who was uh, a theater person for a while there. I'm uh, actually in the International Thespian Society. So she's going <laughs> to read some Shakespearean Garth lyrics. If you identify the song, you're going to the show for free. Are you ready to go? Yep. Take it away, Katie. Every lighteth is burning in a house across ye town. The lady pacing by the telephoneth in her faded flannel gown, asking for a miracle, hoping thy lady is not right, praying tis the weather yon's hath kept that gent out all night. What do you think that is, Shauna? Is it... Is this Thunder Rose? Thunder Rose! Thunder Rose! Oh, right. The thing everyone's talking about this morning is Gerard. We are still looking for Gerard. And I looked it up, and there's only like 22.66 people named Gerard for every 100,000 Americans. So we have to be able to find the Gerard in Elmwood, Allentown area. <laughs> Why are we looking for Gerard? Because there is this woman for the last four years. She lives in Kenmore. And every so often, she would go to these public places in the area. Mohawk Place and Old Pink and the Cafe Aroma, Albright Knox. And she keeps keep running into this guy, Gerard. And they never like really got to give each other their phone numbers, but they kept like clicking. Then the other night, they match on Tinder. And she went back in the middle of the night when she woke up to reread the cute little messages that Gerard sent her. And she accidentally unmatched with Gerard. Ouch. So now the search is on. And we pause the song, You, you sing, sing Along. along. <laughs> and Katie's going to give the first <laughs> shot at it. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here's Katie doesn't know this song yet. I don't know. Here's the example for Katie. When it stops, start singing. Like the king was before. I'm pushing up, I'm looking down, I'm working on my brain. Yo, I don't think I've seen this movie. <laughs> Under the You're sea. You're lying. Under, Under the, the sea. sea. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, I just can't wait to be I'm horrible. <laughs> Do they really want flowers? And turns out most of them like don't mind the flowers because they just like appreciate the thought. But there's another suggestion. If you don't want to get them flowers, but you still want to get them a bouquet, you can order a bacon bouquet. And they look like flowers, but they're actually made of bacon. Meat. Meat. A meat bouquet. 